Hey folks, Kayak DIY here, and today we're going to go over the Bixby Motor Kit. This motor kit works for paddle boards, kayaks, and even has a handheld scuba and snorkel mount, which is really cool. I happen to have almost all of these mounts, and I've been able to test it over the past several months. It is awesome, and it's been very reliable. But I did happen to break a few parts, and I'm going to show you how you can go about replacing those parts and where to get them and also some general maintenance and uh, other things like that. So stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy the video. To take this thruster component off, you're going to need hex keys. They come in different uh, sizes, different types of styles. Uh, here's some common ones that they are. Um, we're going to need the size 3 millimeter. So we can pop out this. We're gonna, we can use this one here this is size three millimeter uh, but I actually just got a kit that is really nice that looks like these they have the T handle on them and so I think I'm gonna use these here's the size three and this is gonna allow me to get a little bit more torque it's the same thing same hex style end but it's gonna give me a little bit more of an easy repair so right here we just have three little hex screws, and we're going to take those off. We're going to set them aside. The next piece is the propeller. So as you can see there, we had a propeller blade shear off. We need to replace this propeller. So we'll use one of these here. We'll tighten it on. And we'll loosen. And now I can actually take it off by hand even. Set that aside. Lift off the propeller. And that's what it looks like there. You'll notice it has this little notch here. That's because of this pin. You'll see this little loose pin. This pin can fall out, so just make sure you don't lose that little pin. Okay. And there it slides off. But there's kind of a look at it when it's disassembled. Uh, if one of these arms broke, we could end up replacing these arms as well. Here's actually a look at some of the other parts that are available for replacements if you need them. Okay, so we got new one of those, new one of those. I picked up these as spares, um, even though this actually, the original, is doing just fine. I was like, well, the parts are cheap enough. I mean, why not pick up a few spares? They are well made though. I mean, this, this feels durable. It actually feels more durable than one of my uh, other trolling motor propellers. So here we have the replacement parts and it's pretty simple to put together. Um, this part is $4.99 on the website. To put it together, we just end up going like this and then press down and it locks into those little grooves that are there. We then can take our propeller, our new one, and we take the pin that we don't want to lose, remember? We put the pin through the shaft so that it's kind of sticking out on each side. And then we take our propeller and there it kind of locks on. And then we take the nut. We can start putting it on by hand a little bit. then tighten it just so it's kind of snug don't need to over tighten it yeah it's not going to come off there we go and then we put the thruster cone back on okay then we take our three hex screws we'll just pop them in so that, that way it holds it in line then use your number three, three millimeter hex tool.
right now it is actually repaired. That's how easy it is to replace an intake grill and a broken propeller on a Bixby. And it's pretty cheap too. Um, so I think the parts were like um, $4.99 for this and I think $9.99 for that. Now, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is let's talk about maintenance. Um, so preventative maintenance of um, more complex things. Here you see the electrical connectors right here. And like on the swim jet, you have that same electrical connector right here that connects to here. So those two connect up and made up. Um, if you have the kayak uh, mount, you'll have a similar setup and similar connection. You can coat these in dye electric grease. So look right here and you'll see what dielectric grease looks like. I'll have a link in the video description for it. What it does is it protects these little fragile pin connectors from getting any corrosion or rust on them. Um, so far I've had no corrosion or rust on them because I keep some dielectric grease on there. And I've only applied it once so far and it still has a generous amount on there. I just pack it in kind of. And then when I made up the two connectors it kind of squeezes some out and I, I wipe the excess away. But uh, that's a way that you can protect your Bixby and repair your Bixby.